Hi, I'm Mary Thomas, physical therapist with Innovative Therapy. I wanted to talk a little bit about preventing pain. I've done a lot of videos about how to address the pain, but what if we stop the pain before it started? A lot of us are working in homes where we have not enough workstations for the number of people. My sister's house has eight people working on different workstations, college students, um, young adults and adults, all with jobs to do, but they're all working from home. So how do we get comfortable when we don't have a comfortable workstation? So in my case, this is a dining room chair and my dining room table is significantly higher. So when I'm typing on my keyboard for prolonged periods, my wrist is, is more bent than it's comfortable and I end up getting wrist pain and my arms get tired from holding them up there. The other thing that happens is I can get a headache because my head is in a weird position trying to look at my screen. So what are some of the things that we can do that are simple and quick? One of them is get a dense blanket. So you don't want a super fluffy blanket like with down in it. This one's just all yarn. So I'm going to put it in the chair. And when I sit on it, it's quite firm, but it raises me up a number of inches. You can fold the blanket different ways in order to raise you up an inch, three inches, four inches, so that when you're typing at your table, your fingers and your wrists are in this neutral position so that you're not in a crooked position like this or crooked like that. You want to be fairly even. So raise yourself up so that you're at that comfortable height. Another thing you can do, and you may have to get more than one blanket or fold the blanket in several different ways, but you can put the blanket behind the small of your back. So you kind of want your low, your buttocks area to be uh, without very much of the blanket, and you want the bulk of the blanket to be right behind your low back so that when you lean back into it, your spine is kind of aligned because that small back curve is supported by the blanket. And you can make this thicker because it pushes you forward in the chair, changes your distance from your computer screen, or you can make it thinner, which puts you back further. Just depends on your vision and your comfort level with how close or far away you like to be from your screen and your keyboard. So as you're typing, I'm in this position. Imagine holding a eight to 12 pound bowling ball in your arm like this. Then do it for two hours. Then do it for eight hours. Imagine how tired your bicep muscle is going to be holding that bowling ball. But if our head is way in front of our shoulders, that's exactly what we're doing. But the muscles in the back of our neck aren't as big or made the same as our biceps muscle to hold that weight for a prolonged period of time. And as a result, our muscles get tired, we get back of the head and top of the head headaches, and we get very fatigued and exhausted. So when we can put something behind us and kind of relax a little bit into it so that our head is lined up over our shoulder for the most part and we're still comfortable typing, we're going to be more comfortable in the long run. So check out your workstation and see if you can adjust it to make it more comfortable for your body, rather than trying to make your body fit the situation. Next, on, on May 12th, I will be sharing a live Facebook workshop uh, at Innovative Therapy PC. Go to Facebook, do the search Innovative Therapy PC. I'm going to be sharing some information from the meat and potatoes at Innovative Therapy. The things that really not only resolve pain or lessen them, but get rid of it for good by balancing your body from the inside out. So if you would like to attend, it's 10 a.m. Central Standard Time at the Innovative Therapy PC Facebook wall. You'll be able to ask questions and chat in. I can't wait to meet you there. So until then, or until my next video, be well.